Hi guys, this is Brittany from Canadian Beats, and I have Shane from Lovers Touch on the phone with me. How are you tonight? Good, I'm doing great. Hi guys. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Thank you so much for taking the time to jump on the line with me. Anytime. <laughs> I love talking on the phone. <laughs> Perfect. It is a dying yeah. art, I think. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um. So just to jump right into it. Uh, you guys just recently released your new single, I Need It. So it came out in 2018, and it has a really strong beat to it. It's very different from another one of your singles, This Is An Arrangement. So what yeah. made you kind of change pace between the two singles? Uh, I think you know, for this collection of songs we've been releasing these singles, we've kind of taken all of them in a bit of a different direction, um, but we kind of thought like the timeline of it, was that arrangement and then dancing were kind of more 70s vibes to it. And we thought it'd be kind of cool to maybe skip forward 10 years or so into uh, the 80s kind of glam glam rock era. Um, so Andrew, the drummer, came up with this kind of synth line that sounded like Van Halen. And then we kind of just like, we rolled with it. We we're like, okay, this is cool. We got to do it up, you know, fully and kind of embrace this 80s vibe to it. So we went for that. We weren't too worried about molding the two singles together we thought they kind of stood on their own as different era pieces so that's what we were going for on that oh 100 percent. you can tell that they're very like different but they both i think they complement each other like i listened to them one after another and i didn't go like oh this is kind of weird i was like wow this is really good i really like hearing them side by side it's great yeah i'm glad to hear that you know that's the, the worry you have when you release two singles that are fairly different um that they sound like totally different bands, but hopefully with the, you know, the same vocalist and the same instrumentals that uh, there is some common ground to kind of mold the two together. Yeah, for sure. So what was similar in your creative process with doing these two songs? And then what was different about doing them? Um, I think, I mean, for arrangements and uh, the other single dance like a man we were recorded in a, an old home studio that we kind of created so it was all live off the floor kind of um tracked that way in a home studio and i need it was recorded at more of a full-on studio so less diy um so a little more high fidelity on the on that one so i'd say that was different but we still kind of tracked in the same way where you, where you start with kind of the bare bones and just build on top of it um but a lot of the aspects in both songs were kind of live off the floor. So that was kind of similar in both of them. Okay. So 2018 brought us I Need It. What is 2019 going to bring us? 2019, and you'll see, um, we're going to kind of take all these singles and add a couple more songs. And um, we'll be releasing a bit of an EP around mid-March with all those tunes on it. Um, we'll also plan on uh, releasing a video for I Need It which is kind of furthering the point of the, the 80s glam rock style. We're kind of releasing a video that is, uh, I won't give too much away, but kind of kind of a parody on that era and on Van Halen. So that'll be released on February 8th. So that's more in the immediate future. Um, but we plan on releasing a couple more singles uh, after the EP and hopefully another cross-Canada tour in the summer. Very exciting. So... Yeah. What was your favorite accomplishment of 2018? I'd say 2018 for us was um, we did a tour across Canada. We, we tried to do it every summer, but this was our second time around the country. And uh, more dates, it was a little more involved. And I'd say that was our biggest accomplishment. It was, it was really fun to kind of play in most of the towns around Canada and, and make friends in each city and kind of get our music out there. Um, via live music rather than, you know, if you, if you post this on the internet, people are going to hear it, but it's cool to play for someone in person and make those kind of human connections. So I think that was our, our biggest accomplishment of the year. Okay. So my final question for you tonight, Shane, is what advice do you plan to live by for 2019? Advice to live by? <laughs> yeah. I would say, whew, um, I would say, and I hope I can speak for everyone in the band, that some, some advice is uh, continue to be as creative as possible. And I think that's what we want to, you know, even build on the last year of creativity and, and try to always keep making new stuff and, you know, thinking outside of the box with our, our music and writing. And I think everyone 
I think everyone should live creatively. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. But <laughs> Shane, I want to thank you for taking the time to jump on the phone with me and to talk more about your new single and what's coming up for 2019. I know I'm really excited for you guys and to see what's to come. And I'm really excited to see this music video. Yeah, I'm, I'm very excited to share with everyone. And thank you very much for having me. I'll come back anytime to do a phone interview. Uh, yeah. Perfect. That's what I like to hear.